The key imperative for most consumers is that they have to have an assurance that their food is safe. And we are doing all that we can to make sure that Tetra Pak's system provides safe food available everywhere. But we also see that con consumers are much more conscious about where their food is coming from, how it's being handled and how sustainable the supply chain is from a food perspective and a packaging perspective. Food quality is also something that's extremely important. In most ways we're talking about the quality being the differentiator. Food protection basically talks about three main elements. Food safety being one of those elements and the other two elements being food quality and food availability. We deliver food quality by providing long shelf life without the need for refrigeration and preservatives, maintaining the characteristics of the product such as taste, flavour, texture and nutritional value. In order to get that highest quality we need to start with a good quality product at the beginning. We need to then have quality robust processes that act on that product and then for the final consumer product will be assured. GFSI is important because what it does is it really provides a consolidation of the requirements or at least a traceability across the different requirements in different ways that our customers help themselves produce safe food for consumers. With things like Amazon Food and what have you, we can see that direct deliveries and different supply chains are being created much faster than we've seen them before. And that increases the complexity for our customers and for retailers to provide safe food. So we need to be very conscious of that. I think there are two main themes that we can definitely focus in from you know, the sort of five-year perspective. Those are the complexities of the supply chain to deliver food to consumers and also digitalization.